CataractCoach.com. Cataract with Zyner Absence. The femtosecond laser is used, but how will you stabilize the IOL? Let's watch this fun case. Now, there's a femtosecond laser that is helpful in creating capsorexis in a case like this where there's so much zonulopathy. Because remember, the laser can just create it by use of the laser energy, and you don't have to have that tearing action, which requires some counter-traction here. Now, surgeon's making a couple of pairs of these here, probably to put in some capsule retraction hooks or capsule stabilizers. Hey, let me tell you about our new retina channel, retinarounds.com with Dr. Pradeep Prasad. You can sign up at retinarounds.com for the free daily email, plus go to YouTube slash at retinarounds. This is going to be just like Cataract Coach, a new video every single day. Now, check it out. Removing the anterior capsule, be very careful to make sure it's fully separated. So I like this movement as if you're doing a capsulorexis, and there you've separated. Now, gentle hydro dissection. Here, what are you going to do? Uh, maybe getting the lens up, okay, out of the capsule bag. That's a technique that I like to use as well. So now you get that lens removed. Luckily, it's not too dense, and the nucleus comes up pretty easily. But be careful here. Remember, the bag can be really floppy. You don't want to aspirate it into the phaco tip. So here you can use the chopper to hold it back because there's no lens capsule retractors in just yet. So again, I like this idea of putting in viscoelastic. Don't let the AC collapse. Great idea. There you go. Those are the lens retractors, capsule hooks. Now, they're not iris hooks. Look at the shape of them. A little bit different, a little bit longer. And now by manual IA to remove cortex. Smart. I like the use there. Very nice. Switching hands. And now watch carefully. As you do this, what's the shape of the rexus? Remember, the rectus started off completely round, or the capsulotomy, if you will, completely round. But because of so much zonulopathy, it's not going to be round here. It's going to be more oval-shaped. Think about that. So you may, again, want to put in another capsule retractor here. Use the IA probe to help hold the edge of the capsule back when you're doing this. So again, you can use the IA probe itself, the infusion cannula line, to hold the capsule while the aspirating one goes and grabs that. Otherwise, it's tough. If you don't have any counter-traction, it's a lot more challenging to remove this. But taking your time here. Now, well, you want to make sure there's no prolapse vitreous as well. So in a case like this, maybe put a little triamcinol inside the eye to see if it stains any vitreous. And again, here you may want to switch hands, again, or use the, the infusion line to stabilize the capsule. Again, looking pretty good. Viscoelastic, your friend here. Turn off the infusion. Now come out. Good, good, good. Now what are you going to do to stabilize it? Let's see. All righty. Looks like small gauge needle going in there, maybe one and a half, two millimeters behind the limbus. And passing in, looks like a proline suture here. So maybe like a belt loop type technique. Maybe put in a capsular tension segment. There it is. There's the CTS. We guessed it. And cauterize the other end, perhaps, to leave a, a flange on there. Let's see what we're going to do here. More viscoelastic is always good. We always like that. There's the flange on the other end. Nicely done. Bring that through. And you want to do a little bit of cauterize. You may have to trim that actually a little bit more. And now going in with a CTR in the bag as well. Be careful, don't get them too locked into each other. Yeah, but you gotta be careful with that CTS uh, in there, the capsular engine segment. The CTR sometimes wants to bump against up against it. Here's where I like a cohesive viscoelastic to really help with that. But that's a good job. It went in the bag, get the CTR in the capsular bag at the lens equator. You got the CTS there, now stabilizing things with that nice flange that's been created. Again, tighten that up a little bit, but look how descent of the rexus is. So you may need to do a little bit more for that fixation. Let's tighten that up a little bit. Yeah, that, that suture is a little too loose for the flange, for the support suture there. Get the lens in the capsular bag. That looks good. Make sure it's completely within the capsular bag. And now, again, I'd tighten up that proline suture, that polypropylene. There you go. Now it looks a lot better. I like that. See how much it's sticking out? Yeah, you got to tighten that up a little bit. So again, now reflange it, cut that end off, reflange it. Remember, you're also going to bury that flange within the sclera. Don't leave the flange just sitting under the conjunctiva because with time, it could erode right through. So now taking out the viscoelastic, again, I'd like to put in some triamcinolone just to make sure, convince myself there's no prolapse of any vitreous. So nice and easy, removing everything. And that looks pretty good. Wow, very nice. I'd bring the pupil down at two, put some myocol in there and bring the pupil down. And look at that. It's going to have nice long-term stability. Beautiful case. Fantastic technique here. I really like it. Again, get that flange tucked into the sclera. Don't leave it just under the conch because it could erode through beautifully done. Hey, remember, check out our new Retina channel, retinarounds.com. You can find it right there. Sign up for a free daily email, retinarounds.com. Plus, go to youtube.com slash at retinarounds. Again, sign up for the free daily video. You're going to love it.